What is up, everyone? Welcome to the DWJBBF Studios. This is the Did We Just Become Best Friends podcast, where we talk about sports, video games, movies, and whatever else is trending. You can find us on all social media platforms at Did We Just Become Best Friends podcast or DWJBBF podcast. You can call or text us at 312-834-7048. And if you leave a good enough message, you might hear yourself on the next episode. Um, Don't forget to hit sub on YouTube. Follow us on Twitch. Hit those bell notifications. We are also up on Spotify. If you want to listen to Spotify on a VOD, we are live every Thursday and VODs go up the next day. I am Anthony. I am with Alfredo, who's going to be short joining me shortly. We got a pretty good one this week. Uh, we talk a little bit about everything. We talk about, talk about Texas, you know, everything, all the struggles, you know, so, and then uh, we kind of get into some uh, movie, movie news and trailers. Talk about all the new movies that uh, that are coming out, and we got news for not all of them, most of them. Um, yeah, and then we just kind of talk about some random stuff at the end. <coughs> um, Marvel, of course, can't can't we can't have a podcast without Marvel, the Marvel talk. Um, but yeah, so we talk about a little bit about that. Um, no WandaVision, a little bit, but no spoilers, so you guys can listen without worry. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this week's episode and enjoy episode 55 of Did We Just Become Best Friends podcast. What do you think of all that snow in Texas, man? Freezing people. Ooh, they, they, man. Dude, oh, man, there was something I read. What was the guy's name? I, I feel I feel really bad for him, man. I mean, it it's it sucks. I know we have things to talk about. Do me something. Um. Yep. That looks good. I just want to hear how we sound. Make sure. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mommy does sing me ABCs or. It sounds good, man. Looks good. I am happy. Yeah. Actually, and then I like it too because, yeah, I like it too. Yeah, Marnin, what's up, fellas, man? What is up, man? Hey, how you, you doing, buddy? It up right there. Damn. Sounds good. Awesome. Yeah, man. I had. Uh, yeah, so we are on YouTube and Twitch like normal, and Facebook, which is super awesome. Ooh, we're coming up in the world. Yeah. Um. So yeah, man. I dude, Su- Suede, the remix god. He he does some good stuff, man. I guess he got famous. Um, he did the he he did that song with the Gorilla Glue girl. Yeah. Um, it, I guess the one that that really really got him famous was the um, oh, what the the lady in the church. You know, it was like I got. Greens, means potatoes, potatoes, you know, you name it. You know, like I don't know if you remember that one. No. No? It's like at a at a at a church, like a you know, uh I'll say it like an African American church, you know, so yeah. they, they sing a lot and stuff like that. And her hers was um was like uh what was it like she's up there and they're getting like ready for Thanksgiving. She goes, We got greens. You know, leans, beans, potatoes, you name it. You know, you name it. And she's like just listing off all this food. <laughs> oh man, that's a classic. That's a classic. That's why a lot of these like that I started doing with our countdown are like classic kind of ones and newer ones that are pretty funny. But that's the one that really made them big. And <laughs> Andy that's looking awesome, at be on the show. Um, but yeah, so but yeah, he he does some good stuff. That and the one he did a long time ago was remember the Simpsons where he goes, Mike Dingaling. Yes. My ding-a-ling. He remixed that. Ding-a-ling. It's awesome. That was like one yeah. of his first, first ones that really went viral. But now now he's everywhere. And the Fergie National Anthem one, epic. It just, yeah, it's just one, good, man. To, You're just like, yeah. I have to see that one. Yeah. They're they're short. They're like 60 seconds, maybe a minute and a half. And and I don't know. They're just like, you bob your head and like, this is this is the stupidest thing ever. But it's it's... It's got a good beat to it, so you're like, yeah. Yeah. I like the other one, too. The Shia LaBeouf, that was good. The Shia LaBeouf one is cool. I got a bunch with Shannon Sharp. 
Oh, that are awesome, man. Shannon Sharp. Be... <laughs> Shannon Sharp with Skip. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good for uh Sunday. Dude, speaking of Sunday, yeah. I just saw any given Sunday. I, it, it's been like years. Oh wait, wait. I'm like for the first time? <laughs> no, no, God no. I'm about when to say it, I was like, what? When it first came out, I watched it what four times in movie theater. Mm-hmm. So when I, and that was back when I was playing semi pro, so it was all hyped up shit at the time. But um, mm-hmm. it was good. Uh, it's, it was a long time. It's been a while. So I'm like, man, a lot of the shit there I should have yell- done at the uh, or playing uh, when I was coaching Death Knights. He said a lot of good stuff there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Didn't steal his speeches. Oh yeah. Well, and that's steal them. Just borrow them with my my way. Can't say steal. Uh, that 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 was that's one of those movies that I just Yeah, Oliver classic, Stone. Classic, man. Stuff, yeah. Oh yeah, it is it is Oliver Stone. Damn. Yeah. So that guy. So I uh this Texas thing. It's a sad, yeah. sad thing right now. Do you know the reason yeah, why man. there is no heat or gas? Well, everything uh, froze, man. They're they're in like sub zero, not sub zero, sub freezing temperatures. It's like bad, bad. Anywhere there's liquid, it is frozen. Whether yeah. it be in the gas lines, plumbing, uh, it's the pictures and the video. videos. It's there so was bad. There's a video of someone uh, renting speeches. Yeah, I could rent one uh, in your poop. <laughs> nice, thanks, Wanda. Um, but there was one where the, I saw a video. It was a fish tank, solid frozen, frozen mm-hmm. solid, actually, and uh, it bothered yeah, I know me. No, which one you really, talking about? You saw it, but it really bothered me that what the the mayor Tim Boyd. Oh uh, yeah, that was Colorado City, I think, in Texas, Colorado City, Texas. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the city, yeah, yeah, man. I I read that. I I was pretty pretty pissed with that. I was like, man, that's 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 really fucked up, you know? Yeah, I mean, well, I know you, I know you, you're probably looking for it, but the thing that really got me was he I said, it. "You have it, okay? You want? I don't know if you want to read parts of what he said." Um, no. Well, go ahead and let me let me skim through it. I have all my notes, and I was very productive today at work. I. <laughs> so, and I'm fortunate I left all my notes at work again. So um, go ahead. Let, let me skim through this. Well, yeah, so I know well, the one thing was um, he said that they don't owe that the power company doesn't owe you anything. So don't be lazy and get up and fix a problem yourself. I'm like, first of all, they do owe you something. They yeah. owe you the service that you pay them for. That's bullshit. Like, don't get out of here. It's like, you act like you're asking for electricity. You're like, no, I pay for it. We signed a contract. Like, and now your end of the contract is not being kept up with it for whatever reason, you know? Mm-hmm. So that, that one kind of pissed me off. I'm like, that's, that's some bullshit. It was like, like, oh, they don't owe you anything. Like, yeah, they owe the service I pay for. Like, what the hell? That's not, that's not how this works. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm reading I'm reading everything what he wrote. Yeah, he he went on a, a pretty <sighs> decent rant. <laughs> mama, mama, to read it, it's like I, if I had a guess, 30, 40, 30 seconds, forty five seconds. Yeah, go for it, man. Um, okay, so Tim Boyd wrote this. Um, there's no date, but um, hmm. it says let me hurt some feelings while I have a minute. So. You know this guy's gonna be a dick right off the right off the bat when you say that. Mm-hmm. So no one owes no one owes you no one owes you or your fan or your family. He, yeah, this is what he wrote: are your family anything? Nor it's the local government's responsibility to support your doing trying times like this or swim. It's your choice. The city and the count and the country along with the power providers or any other service owes you nothing, nothing in capital letters with one explanation point. I'm sick and tired of people looking for a damn handout. If you don't have electricity, you step up and come up with 
a game plan to keep your family warm and safe. If you have no water, you deal without you deal without and think outside of the box to survive to supply water to your family. If you're sitting at home in the cold because you have no power and are sitting there and waiting for someone to come rescue you because you're lazy is direct result of your rise of your raising. Only the yeah. strong will survive and the weak will perish. Folks, God has given you the tools to support ourselves in times like this. This is sadly a product of the socialist government, why they feed people to believe that there are a few, in capital letters, will work with others when becoming independent and for handouts. I am sorry that you have been dealing without electricity and water. Yes, but I'll be damned if I'm going to provide for anyone that is capable of doing it for themselves. We have lost sight of those in need and those that take advantage of the system and mesh them into one group. Bottom line, quit crying and looking for a handout. Get off your ass and take care of your own family. Bottom line, don't be part of the problem. Be part of the solution. Yeah, I mean, that's... Because that's, that's the thing that pisses me off. It's not a handout. It's, it's not, not a handout. It's a service that they're paying for, man. That's bullshit. They, they, they'll be that, but that service will be quick as hell to cut off your service if you don't pay. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can easily turn around like, "Hey, company, don't be looking for a handout because I can't pay this week." You know, it's bullshit. You know, yeah. I it, mean, it, the whole you, thing is it pisses me off. It, it is. It, it's it's sad that this. No one wants to take responsibility, and then they put the shit on on stuff that it's not. Yeah. Right. right. Exactly. And then that's what's disgusting because. Okay, get off your ass and do what? Go look for water. They're, it's frozen. You go outside, you probably fucking freeze and get a yeah. frostbitten like within within minutes because they're not accustomed yeah. to that weather. Yeah, they don't you know, know how to handle it. Right. Which leads to another and then, problem and is and the gas. What do you where do you get gas from? I mean, it's not like it grows on trees. Let's cut down a tree and get si siphon gas from the fucking trunk. It's nothing like yeah. that at all. I don't understand what this asshole is trying to do or is trying to say. You know, he wants to fucking hand out and that's bullshit, dude. I mean, this yeah. asshole fucking bought something and then, it, I, you know, I'm so fucking pissed off. Or well, we got a, a comment. Yeah, like he's like, use your stove as heat. Do not, first of all, don't ever use your stove as heat. That is super, super dangerous and uh, and should not do that. So if you're listening, Andy, don't do that. If you're if you need heat, um, it is a thing that that sometimes people do do, and it's bad because it's carbon monoxide, um, or dioxide. I don't know. I'm not a chemist. Um, but uh, but but that's another thing that people are doing. They're going in their car, and and trying to warm up. Not knowing that you know all the, all the exhaust fumes is gonna kill you, you know, you know. So there's like stuff that they're doing. They're bringing in barbie. They're bringing in their barbecue grills and using that as the heat source. And then they're getting you know like you know all that smoke and all that 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 gas burning, you know. So that's it's super dangerous. Already, I believe four people died. I could be wrong, but I thought I read about four people died just from smoke in inhalation or carbon dioxide poisoning already. So from your car, from and you can't turn on your stove because they don't have any gas. So it's not like right. they just don't have any electricity. They don't have any electricity. They don't have any gas. They don't have anything, man. And if it's right. really bad, it's it's like for us, we know things what to do and how to prevent things. Over there, they they don't know. They don't know anything. You know, like somebody was like, "Oh, I put a blanket in front of the door." I was like, "Yeah." I mean, I'm like that's. You know, somebody's like, I tape the edges around the door. I was like, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. But they don't know that because they don't have to deal with it. You know? And right. So, I mean, right. it's it's it really sucks, man. It really, really sucks. You know, I mean, right. there's a whole uh, political thing with, with being on the grid or off the grid. Because El Paso is not having any problems because they're still on the grid, on the federal grid. Right. So El Paso, right, Texas has no problems. So that that that's what it's all about. I mean... It, they have the um, windmills. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. they're, I think that's the name for them. I'm not 100 percent sure. The, the the turbine, yeah, the wind turbine. The turbine. Thank you, thank you. That's what it is. So they have that, and so therefore it's pure clean energy. Hey, more power to you. This happened. 
frozen turbines. So there's they're frozen. So there's no power kicking in or nothing. So yeah. now what? There's no backup. And what I heard earlier today well, was But but the only thing is that's only ten percent. Ten to twelve percent is solar and wind. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me if ten percent of the grid goes off, the whole fucking state just freezes over? Dude, like Nash, um, um, the gas, the gas, gas, coal, and nuclear power makes up eighty-eight percent of how Texas gets their power. Mm-hmm. So people blame blaming wind turbines is bullshit. I'm like, yeah, of course it's not going to be because it's not winterized. Nothing's winterized. Mm-mm. You know, like windmills work in Iceland. You know, there's all the pictures in in fucking Norway and Greenland with you know freezing cold shit, and they work there, but they're also made to work there. Right. You know, they have oh, no well, idea what four four wheel drive is out there. I mean, it's so you know, they do. They do they do have a lot of off road, but I, I know what you're talking about. But not for snow, not for snow. Yeah. No, not like for snow, snow tires? Yeah, they have no idea what snow tires are. I don't think they exist out there. Yeah. I mean you can't like you like here we can go to like AutoZone and get chains, you know, for snow uh, snow tire chains. Yeah. They don't there there's no place over there that's gonna have it. They're just not ready for it. All right, but no, I mean I, that that pissed me off because it's like, oh, it's 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 the green power that's that failed us. I was like, the green power is only ten percent. What about your nuclear power? What about your gas and your coal? I'm like, you're fucking Texas. You own all the gas in America. <laughs> why why does Saudi Arabia own you know sixty percent of your gas? Yeah, hold on one second, man. Um, that's a better. I got I got to take something over there. Oh, go ahead and answer Andy's yeah. questions. Um, it was, where are you talking about? Was, uh, where are we talking? We're talking about Texas. Texas is really, really messed up right now, man. You know, I hope, I hope they see, they get their stuff going. Eat more frijoles for gas. Exactly, man. See, that's why all the Tex-Mex places down there, they know what they're doing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, yeah, that place is is pretty bad. What else? I know I don't want to talk about anything when, until Fredo comes back. But uh, who else we got in here? All right, man. So we got some people in YouTube from Facebook. All right. Uh, got Twitch people in here. So someone said beans? What? Yeah. <laughs> so someone mentioned Armando, food. Armando said and, uh, uh, beans. I took my interest at the laundry room. Yeah, so that is nuts. And um But the the fucking leadership. Well the whole thing today is Ted Cruz. Did you see about that? Oh man, that mother he left and apparently he came back. Yeah, he's I think he's on his way back if he's not already back. And then he blames it on his daughters, which is even more fucked up. Like, dude. He's a pussy. Oh, he's He's the worst, man. What are you doing, kitty? He's a fucking like you, I'm like your wife, your family must fucking hate you. Because when Trump was calling you all these names and calling your wife all these names, you didn't do anything. And then you stand behind the fucker who called your wife and and your family all these names. But one thing, and now you you're in trouble, and you're using your daughters as scapegoats, dude. Like I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. That's fucked up. That's no, fucked up. A, don't use your family as a scapegoat. He's not a man. He's not a man. If anybody would call. Him- you know, Jess or my family or, you know, fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. There'd, there'd be like six inches of plastic between us, man. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's a piece of shit. Um, yeah. But yeah, man. So I, I hope everyone, hope everyone down there is, it's, gets well soon. I know they're getting another storm, um, I believe tomorrow or Saturday. So they're gonna get another yeah, hit of no. it, which is not good. The really only not good. No, it's not. The only thing I can think of is whatever gas they have in their vehicles. I try to head either either south or you know the opposite direction, closest direction, and you know they have shelters, get go out. to the church, they, you know, just leave well, and hold over. You know, I mean, if you got family I mean, elsewhere, they can't even, yeah. You know, I know go, they can't like, drive. I, Right, I have the, the, the road. I have the roads are so bad. I have family down there, and I contact them. So thank God everyone's okay. They're they're good. That's good. Because I was gonna be like, hey, fly up here. I'll buy the tickets. Drive up here. I'll send you gas money. 
which, you know, our place is not big, but we got plenty of floor space, blankets and pillows. Yeah, we'll at least worry about the rest later. Just be right safe. Right out a couple of weeks. Yeah, at least. You know, shit. It's 18, and then March. Yeah. Shit, just stay to my birthday. I don't care. Fuck. <laughs> But yeah, they're 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 gonna get hit again, which really really sucks, man. So hopefully, but yep. I know there is some good news. There's um uh a furniture place. I I can't remember the guy's name. I I, I literally just read it right before we went live, and he had uh, opened up his furniture store for people to come in and and like, you know, try to like heat up and be out of the cold and stuff like that. So that's great, man. But yeah, it's. I think down there they need to figure out people in charge are really fucked them over because the whole there's the rolling blackouts. So, you know, but then you, you're finding out that like, oh, we're all supposed to share the the blackouts evenly. But now you're finding out that the poor neighborhoods are getting less or getting more blackout time to make sure the richer neighborhoods don't, you know, mm-hmm. so which is fucked up, you know, so there's a lot of that going on. Um bunch of assholes yeah so i don't know you want to try <laughs> go over to something a little different yeah i that's all i want to get you know tim boy yeah. and ted cruz fuck it, you I'm sorry for the language, language but i don't huh no they suck yeah they i don't suck yeah i'll give you my address so i can do whatever you want with it i don't care but hey yeah. um we landed on Mars. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that was awesome today, man. That was that was really cool. That, there's some pictures already out. Um, yeah, I didn't even know. Mars. Pretty cool. I didn't even notice until uh, I, like, right before, I, like, an hour or two ago, I saw my friend uh, Joe Guzman. He's an astronomer. And he loves that kind of stuff. And he teaches a class with you know, astronomy. Mm-hmm. And he, there was a picture of like all his students, like he posted a picture on Facebook, but all his students had a selfie with the laptop or TV or whatever on uh, yeah. showing the, the, the landing. So that shows a lot how much he's meant to these kids that, cool. you know, someone like him can inspire so many children to, yeah. to look up stars and study something that they, they love. <clears throat> Yeah. Um. And I think that one thing is like how um. I think YouTube helped with uh space, um, with like NASA and stuff like that. Because I remember for a while, it like it was kind of over. People didn't care anymore. You mm-hmm. know, they didn't televise launches and stuff like that. Now I I follow NASA. You know, they televise every every launch. Or not televised, but stream every launch, and it's super cool. And I think it, it allowed people to to find that, you know, like right. that, like oh, cool, this is really cool. Which it is super cool, like watching like uh, Elon Musk, you know, his crazy ass launch those uh, the the rockets, and then they come down and land. Oh, that's crazy! It looks fake. It looks really fake it when they're landing. It does look it, fake. It looks like oh, that's just reversed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only yeah. no, it's not fake. Because the smoke stays out, it doesn't go right back in. So yeah. I'm like, that's awesome. Well, uh, one blew up a, a couple of weeks ago. I believe it was two weeks ago. One was landing, yeah. and then it poof. And that was the first one that blew up in a while. So <laughs> anybody died? No, no, no. The oh, the the it wasn't the ship. Well, they they're not doing any man ones right now. They but it was the the return of the the centrifuge or it's not a centrifuge, whatever freaking thing it was. Fuselage, but yeah, the fuselage, yeah, something like that. It's usually two of them or one of them, but it's just like, like he's like, yeah, hey, we can reuse that a bunch of times, and that can save so much money. I was like, wow, yeah. cool, <laughs> you know. I wonder if that's, so that's one that they use like maybe ten times. And they're like, okay, no more than nine. <laughs> the number ten is a big boom, so no more. <laughs> Yeah, he said they're still like this is all testing. This is also like testing and trials and stuff. So, oh yeah, I think he he oh, yeah. he, he said um, that like if it doesn't blow up, then then that's when he gets scared, you know, because you know if if I things like are just perfect right off the bat, he's like, mm, well, you know, it's gonna be a big <laughs> boom later. 
yes, you want something wrong because like that you could pinpoint it right away, yeah. not when it's like years on now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I could, I'm but guessing yeah. it's cheaper to broadcast it on YouTube and you know stream it actually, you know, on Twitch or wherever. I'm, I'm guessing it's cheaper that way because therefore <clears throat> anything televised costs money because you're taking yeah. a show, you're taking the commercials, and then you got to backlog yeah. it and. So well, you, yeah. gotta, you figure you got to pay for it, pay for airtime rather yeah. than this way you're getting paid to show it, you know, because okay. now you're on YouTube, you're able to run ads, run whatever you need or don't, you know, so it, it's really fun. It's really fun because they do a whole it's a whole thing. It's just not like you looking at the, the rocket for an hour. You know, right. they have like people at a desk and they have segments. They're talking about like what's going in the space and how it's going. Yeah. It's really it's it's for me. It's really interesting. I really enjoy stuff like that. You, you know, would have been a really good commercial if they stream it and show rocket launch. Something with it's erectile right. dysfunction. Oh. That'd be a really good commercial <laughs> during a NASA launch. Like, hey guys, well, you, you do this. <laughs> it's so, off. <laughs> so he was on uh, Elon Musk was on Joe Rogan, um, uh, I believe last week. I didn't watch much of it because I really don't like either of them anymore. <laughs> like, they're both kind of like piece of shit people. Um, but I did watch like one part where he was talking about like the spaceships and stuff, right. and they were both obviously fucking high out of their minds. Um, and he said there's the point, the tip of the rocket, you know, where kind of like the package or the people would be at and stuff. When yeah. they first made it, it was very rounded. And he said it needs to be pointy. And they're like, why? He goes, because that's what people see. That will, That's what's in cartoons. That's what's in the movies. And that's what people visualize. And they're like, what? And, but he said everyone was on board. They're like, okay. You know, they, they all get that it's part of the joke. And there are, and and I remember Joe Rogan's like, but doesn't that fuck with shit? He goes, no, not really. He goes, we had our guys run all the numbers. He goes, it didn't matter. He goes, I wanted a pointy. He goes, so it's fucking pointy. I was like, get out of here. Like I'm like, I'm like only the richest fucking person in the world can be like, I don't like the shape of that spaceship. Yeah. Change it. Yes. Get didn't, nuts, man. Did not must the same person that made that truck? That with bulletproof windows. Yeah, yeah, that was the Tesla truck, the cyber truck. Oh, you know, yeah. So it mm -hmm. makes sense that he went to point it because that's what he probably drew as a little kid. Because that fucking yeah. Tesla truck looks like a child's picture that just came to life. Yeah, I mean, look it does, at that. Somebody went just drew. Yeah, just just a point. Where's my truck? Look. Well, <laughs> I'm fucking construction paper. Come on, man. Yeah, it's. It's pretty funny, dude. The, the, the pre-orders are on, on it are crazy, are crazy. You know, I, wonder what I mean, he's doing a lot of like I I don't like him because he's kind of like a shitty person. I don't know if like all the money and the ego went to his head, or he's just fucking crazy, like no, a madman now. More of him was exposed because at first I guess people thought he was a nice guy and he's doing good, but the more publicity got, the more his real self came out i i think he just says no. fucked up shit you know but he exactly. does really great things right you know yeah which is it, insane have you ever seen a sane scientist look at albert Einstein. yeah yeah that motherfucker never he invented everything else but a comb i mean that dude's yeah. hair was different. yeah yeah he was i don't know because he he's the remember we talked about him not too long ago of him putting the computer in the monkey brain yeah. Remember we talked about that? Yeah, yeah he, he's big into that now. So, I mean, I mean, he does really, really awesome stuff. You know, like he's he's doing all the the tunnels under LA, you know, to help with traffic. Like the bore the boring project. Yeah, it's called the Boring Company, which is funny because he's like, yeah, it's boring, but they're they're actually boring a hole. So like they're doing that in LA because he wants like quicker traffic, you know. He wants like his like if you need to get from here to here, you don't have to worry about you know trucks and cars. You can just jump on this fucking super train and be, you know, there in minutes. So he's he's literally a, a mad scientist. That's crazy. But well, he's thinking out yeah. of the box. Good for him, and he has the money to back it up. He's not one of those people. Oh, I wish someone could. 
do this. It's more like, I want to make a hole in the ground. Boom, done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, want, well, I want a space shuttle to reverse. Yeah. Boom, done. <laughs> he does. He does. Crazy. Well, he made uh, that flamethrower. Um, he made the flamethrower to sell to people to get money for the boring company. So there's the boring flamethrower, which is you just fuck. It's literally a flamethrower. You just screw on a propane tank. I mean, it doesn't shoot out crazy flames. It shoots out like a little like, you know. But it's like people went bonkers. That thing sold out like in minutes. That was what, three, four years ago. It's probably good for cigars, you know, one of the cigar lighters, yeah. torch lighters, yeah. or whatever. But somebody shit. hacked it and made it like a crazy huge thing, but it like it wasted the whole canister, like you know, in a couple of seconds. Jesus Christ! But yeah, he, I mean, he's well, he all oh, he lost his he was the richest man for a while, um, and then he well, Bezo, Bezos from Amazon was the richest man for a long time. And then right, Elon right. Musk, yeah, Elon Musk took him over maybe about a month ago, and then I think yesterday or today, um, Bezos took it back. So they're just gonna battle for the rest of their life. Who's the richest person of all time? Well, it Those comes down to profit. If you spend a million dollars, a billion dollars, knowing that in a year or two you're gonna get ten billion back, yeah, the, that's yeah. how the titles change. You yeah. know, it's a matter of well, time. Also, yeah. Space travel for consumers and you know fucking people. It's not going to be an issue. Yeah, where you actually, which is he? He's yeah, getting into that too. Like, yeah, I'm sure he is. Yeah, Bezos there was is messing with that. Art, like back when I was a kid in fucking grammar school, there was a bunch of concept art about that. There yeah. was something called the Aurora Project, which looked like a space ship, like a space saucer, yeah. and he used um, propulsion. Propulsion, something like that. Propulsion. Yeah. Yeah. So it was nothing but like it pulses energy to make it hover, and there's like it's hmm. quiet. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. So basically, uh, Iron Man. <laughs> Almost. Basically. The iron, like an Iron Man kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But Iron Man is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. It's cold in my basement. I went over to look for a sweater, and I didn't find one. I might have to put on like a coat or a long sleeve shirt. That's why I got this and I got my heater. My guns are getting um, cold. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, Bezos from Amazon, he recently stepped down. Um, he stepped down uh, as CEO of Amazon. Really? So he's not. Yeah. He wants to pursue other projects. He's, he's something along those lines. So. <laughs> And I think one is the space travel. He wants to start doing what Elon is doing. Oh, Jesus Christ! But how about just yeah. help, help America? How about help the help Texas? Help I know, seriously, man. Let, let's well, do, fucking, clean up some water in Flint. Elon Musk is like he's talking all the shit about California, you know, and he's like, oh, I can go to Texas and be free and you know not pay taxes. So I was like, okay, how about go help out the fucking state you want to go live in, you know? It's like, you know, but like, oh, you can't do handouts, right? There's no return. There's no return. So why you spend money there? But you know. I don't but. know. Anyway, um, welcome to the show. What's on today's agenda? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I figure we'll just do the intro at the end. Like we we did that last time. Yeah, I like that. Um, kind of thing. And I'll just edit. Uh, fuck. I mean, even with this, I don't need to edit it anymore. I can just leave it up. Um, I don't know. Maybe after the. Oh no, I gotta take. I gotta edit it because I gotta edit out the, <laughs> that song because it get copyright claimed. Oh, nice. But I do gotta edit. So yeah, we could do the intro at the end. Um, hmm. you want to watch this uh Mortal Kombat trailer? Yeah, sure. They got, uh, they got brought out today. Yeah. I heard about it. It's mm-hmm. ice. Yeah, seen that sub zero. Well, let me uh let me know if you can hear it. First yes. thing about this okay. seven years ago. Right. On a mission in Brazil to capture a wanted fugitive. When we got there. It tore through our unit in seconds. The 
target had superhuman abilities. Is that Marlon Wing? It had the same marking. Or you Keenan Knight? Yeah, sure. It's a birthmark. No. He was born with it. It's not a birthmark, Cole. It means you've been chosen. Throughout I'm not history, sure who he is. Cultures all over the world. Reference a great tournament. I'm just gonna have fun, yeah? That dragon marking? I think it's an invitation to fight for something known. And there goes Scorpion. As Mortal Kombat. Yeah. These are your champions. Wow. I'm Sonya. That's Kano. I'm Liu Kang. Thanks, Jax. Kung La. Lord Raiden. The fate of Earth is in our hands. No matter how many of my people you put in the ground, we will not fail. Kill them. Is that Goro? Oh, I didn't even see. I got you. Oh, yeah, there it is. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Like he did the whole I am Iron Man thing. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Get over here. So, was oh. wins. He fucking beauty. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to ask a question, and I just saw the, my answer. I look like from one angle, uh, Kano was... Uh, oh, he was shooting like a laser, uh, that eye laser a, beam. i never seen that before. He never did that in the arcade, has he? I don't remember I don't that. remember, dude. It's, it's, been so, it's been so long. I don't, I don't think he did. But yeah, I, I thought he was, uh, it was another actor... Um, who does the Buick commercials, the Cadillac commercials? Oh, man. Matthew McConaughey? Yes, him. For, for In that <laughs> one second where that side angle, I thought it was him. I'm like, what? No way. He's too big <laughs> to be in a like cheesy movie. And that guy, are you? Some that, I don't know who was he. Although they said they it looked Ryu. like Ryu. Yeah. That was uh, yeah, Luke King, I think that was. Yeah. Why is he dressed like him? <laughs> That's the wrong game. Well, he was it ca- Some in the newer games. He's he's kind of dressed like that. He's in the with the white and the red kind of thing. But Luke King. But that's why I kind of wonder because it doesn't seem like Luke King is the main character, even though the story no. is 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 Luke King. Like Mortal Kombat is all like Luke King is like the main character. You know, even in I the think- last game, he became a fucking god. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think the uh, and all the movies. It was um, where we got uh, Armando said something. Yeah. He goes, they should have have uh, done what Marvel did and do a movie about each character leading to a tournament. That would have been good. That would have been really cool. Yeah, that would have been really cool. I like because Sub Zero has a cool backstory. Scorpion has a cool. Like all the characters have really cool backstory. I think um, okay. I'm going off the edge here, and I know Mondo maybe will agree or not. Martin, if he's listening, and you know we talked about video games in the past. Will they ever make a twisted metal movie? They, I, I remember it was in the works at one point in the because early two thousands. I enjoyed that game in PS one. I remember clearly PS one, and I passed the game with every single character. <laughs> and um, except for the motorcycle one, that was the death guy. Remember the Grim Reaper? I think his name was. Uh, um, I remember he sucked. The, the, I, I mean, the everyone played the, the ice cream man. Yeah, the ice cream truck. Yeah, Sweet Tooth. I think his name was. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. 
but you know his story, Sweet Tooth story. I don't know. I remember it clearly. Like if it's good as day. Like you like happened just a little bit ago. There was also a cab driver in that game. Mm. The cab driver was Sweet Tooth's dad, and he turned out that he had to kill him. Would you kill him? Oh, geez, because really? once you once once you kill him, once you get to the leader, leader grants you a wish, whatever you want. Sweet Tooth wanted to know who was his family. He's like, oh, you killed him. He was the guy in the taxi driver. Mm -hmm. Like, and that fucking blew blew my mind. So I end up playing the taxi driver to see what's his story. He's out looking for his son. That's why he wanted to go to the leader to find and locate his son. And just to turn out, hey, you killed your son. He was sweet. sweet. <laughs> so it was nuts. It was, it was crazy. There's the army guy in the Hummer. He wanted to get those yeah. UFO files and keep him secret. You had the British agent. He was like in a sports car. He wanted all the files to be exposed to the world and no more hiding. Um, you had the two guys in a monster truck. He All they wanted was gas and tires. That's it. <laughs> Do you remember a lot more than I? Well, I, I was I played it, but I was never like into it, into it like that. I just well, remember. I, was, I don't know how yeah. many characters were, were on there. But it was the Grim Reaper I couldn't get because it was hard. He had very little armor, a lot of mobility. His weaponry was okay. The special was good. But don't remember passing with him. Well, let's see. Um, so I, I looked it up real quick. I guess this is May of 2019. So it's been a little while. Where Twisted Metal TV series was confirmed in development at PlayStation Production. So obviously a lot has changed since then, and it seems like they're not. But also they're also in the same article they're talking about um, the Uncharted movie with uh, um, his name, the uh, Spider Man guy. Yeah. Speaking of Spider Man, he's, he's in it. Apparently, all the other Spider Mans are not going to be in the same movie. That's what Tom Holland was. It Tom Holland? Yeah. What's his name? Yeah. That's what Tom Holland said. But there's people saying that he's lying, you know. You know, <laughs> or it, they're keep, or they're keeping the info away from him because yeah, he likes it, to spoil. Because it, yes, he did. He does like to spoil a lot. I think yeah. it's like, um, what's her name? She Hulk. Oh, we're not gonna do She Hulk. Yeah. Oh, surprise! Guess what I'm doing? I'm a She Hulk. Yeah, even the the yeah the actress. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she did that. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I think Armando had a good point. That would be really cool to see from them, you know. But it's let let's see if it, if it's big. Well, um, if it's I mean, if how good it gets, they can follow the video games and do something similar to the video games because it it got a little weird a, a while ago. But the last couple of video games had pretty good stories. Especially the last one. I think the last one was really well received. Uh huh. I mean, you know, so the last what movie? Uh, Mor Mor but no, what? Mortal Kombat. The last Mortal Kombat um, video game came out last year, I think. You know, that was eleven, if I'm not mistaken, right? MK eleven. Uh, I have not played it since. <sighs> Jesus, what the arcade SNES when they had no blood, it was just sweat. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it is a uh, Mortal Kombat 11 aftermath. I think it's called, mm -hmm. dude. You got a drink with you? Let's drink. <laughs> it's uh, I, I don't got one for me, dude. Ooh. Now um, that that's gonna wear me up. <laughs> what cold it was so speaking of some other movies they announced the uh, um uh borderlands movie oh yes i saw that and and they got a pretty good cast building up um they got kevin hart is gonna play royland in now, the borderlands I, movie i i you know we all played borderlands so, mm. I'm not familiar with the characters' names. With the Me character neither. Itself. <laughs> the only character I remember 
and it's Mondo's favorite. It's that damn robot. Yeah. Or whatever. Like he like he knew the little song or whatever. Which I'm happy to that I heard that it was uh Jack Black. Jack Black, yep. I'm like, perfect. Love it. Love it. Yeah. You know what I, Yeah, he, he has that kind of voice. Yeah. I, I you know what I just saw on uh, Facebook? The music video to tribute. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I seen it. I, oh no, no, that's I've never seen it. A good one. Uh, yes. What's his name is uh, um Kyle. Well, my Dave 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 Grohl is the devil in that one, I believe. Oh really? And then he comes he comes back as the devil in in the Peak of Destiny song. Oh really? Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I believe I so. I could be wrong, but I thought it was. Yeah. But that um, guy's so man, cool. yeah. Well, they 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 got Kate Blanchett is also in the movie. She's playing Lilith, and Jamie Lee Curtis, and Kevin Hart, and Jack Black. That's a pretty freaking a good lineup, you know. That is. So that that's could be interesting. That's a good story. I feel like. Yeah. Um. I wonder how it's oh. going to be in the desert. Whatever. I wonder they, if they're going to have a theme song. Um. No, for the weary, for the wicked, something like that. I can't remember the. Uh, oh yeah, oh man, that's the old song. They might. I think I so mean, many people associated that song with that game, that first one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. They might. What else is coming out? I saw some other stuff. Tim Burton is making his TV debut as a director. He is going to direct a Netflix series oh. called Wednesday. Which is about Wednesday Adams, the Adams family. Uh, Wednesday. Yeah. So, hmm. that, and that's, really, that's all they said about it. They showed a, a cool kind of picture of, She's like, playing. I assume her. Yeah, like with a violin, cello. but with a knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a violin. No, no, no I think it's cello. It's cello. I yeah. played the cello in high school. I don't know if you knew that. I, th- I think you told me. That's crazy, though. That's That's a hard... That's right. a hard one to learn. Cello, violin, it's some difficult stuff. And, and, and viola. Those three I played in high school. Viola. Um, uh, let's see what, what else we got going said, on. Have you guys seen the Wednesday short clips? I haven't. I haven't. Wednesday the... Short clips. Oh, my God. So anybody else is sore from all that shoveling? Oh, dude. So bad. <laughs> We're getting another one Sunday. I know. Suck. Really suck. Um, well, here, since we're talking about some other movies, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which is uh, such a good freaking show. It's going to, season eight is going to be its last season. So the next season, it's going to be done. I don't know if you haven't watched that. It's it's really good. I, I usually don't like, uh, um, um, what the fuck? The guy from uh, SNL. Oh, um, Sandler. Adam. Uh, he did a movie with Adam Sandler. Yeah. And oh my god, <laughs> I can't see. I do, uh, he he well he was in Palm Springs. Palm Springs, which I love that movie too. That was like one of the best movies of 2020, I think. You know, although there's only like a handful of movies in uh, in 2020, so. Andy you know, Samberg. Andy yeah. Samberg. That's the dude. Andy you know, I don't I have yet watched it. Not one episode. But the, what really intrigues me about that show, it came on um it came on channel five. It came on Fox. Yeah, it came on uh Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. It came on five first. Right. right. Yeah. So it, it didn't go well. They pulled the plug, they canceled it. Fans. It did well. That's the thing. Oh yeah, if fans wanted it back, and they pushed and pushed and pushed, and I think Fox came in to play to pick it up, or Comedy yeah. Central. Actually, I believe it was Comedy Central that picked it up because the fans wanted it, and he ran ever since. Oh, no, um, it's not Fox. It season seven. Well, season seven was the last season, and that's the only season that's not because season one through six was on NBC. 
and then season seven it was just going to end and then fox fox got it and season seven was on fox okay and now season eight is going to be its last season but it had good numbers it had right. really good numbers i might i might be thinking the wrong show then because i remember there was a show was on one network they pulled the plug fans wrote called picketed did everything to get it back on and he did bring it back on but on a different network the network picked it up bought the rights for it and whatever um and they got they, well, futurama they was a big one with futurama yeah it wasn't animated i know for a fact it wasn't no, it was like it, it was probably that one because they when they got canceled there was a lot of people that were like hey what the hell you know because it was it was a good show it was really really good it had good numbers Look oh, no, it, no it, it was on Fox. That's what it was. It was it started on Fox and then it went to NBC because once it went to NBC, people were saying, oh, shit, they could do a crossover with Law and Order because now they're on the same network. <laughs> That's what it was. It, it started on Fox and what then was, Fox pulled the plug. What was the, the lieutenant's name? Um, Holt Sar- or Sergeant Holt, I think. Okay, the, uh, that's the bald black dude, right? The bald black dude, which okay. and Terry Crews was in it. You know, it's it's just a I think a good a good thing where like like things there was a big issue because obviously Lieutenant, Lieutenant Holt or Sergeant Holt was uh, he's gay in the show. You know, so they talk a lot about stuff like that, like you know, like being black in 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 NYPD and then also being gay. You know, Terry Crews had a whole thing, you know, being like racially profiled. There's a whole episode about that. Um, you know, you have the two women are Hispanic, you know, like one's Cuban and one's like Puerto Rican ish. They didn't really tell you, but kind of. Right. Um, so there's <laughs> the only thing I remember the show because Holt, I guess every time when uh, Wunch, Winch, Winch, yeah, Wunch, yeah, Wunch. Every uh, time, yeah. like, is like if you go on YouTube, you look it up. There's one that's two yeah. minutes long. If you want to put it up on there, that's fine. But well, we'll like, definitely get copyright for that, though. But yeah, I, yeah, there's like, yeah, it's like um, every time, uh, is like, bunch. I didn't see, I, I didn't see you flying a <laughs> broomstick, you know, or something like that. Or it, it was, it was weird. Like, oh, every insult. <laughs> I was like cracking up. I'm like, this dude's awesome. Let me write some yeah. of this shit down. Oh, Let dude, me... they. So I guess they used to be. They used to be uh, a couple, the and show? then on the well, yeah, on the show, like the two characters were a couple, and then he obviously left her, and you know, because he, he was gay, so he came out, and then she kind of hated him. For breaking her heart so she treated him like shit but then he treated her like shit it's a really good like they yeah, it's it's really really good yeah you know. <laughs> she's lunch <wench> meat <laughs> yeah he's such a good character because he's so they there's a whole halloween thing that they do every year where they do like a halloween uh um game uh-huh. you know and it's it's a it's it's really interesting. I love when shows do stuff like that. You know, like how I made your mother had the slapsgiving. You know, so that was kind of the thing with Thanksgiving. You know, That's they fun. have their Halloween hunt. You know, and so hey, it's a I'm, it's a really it's a really good show. I enjoy I'm gonna take it. off my headset real quick um, to put on my sweater. Okay, yeah, yeah. not enough alcohol in the system yet to warm me up. <laughs> so hold on. Um, yeah, yeah, go for it. Let's talk him. Yeah, I mean that was. Such a good show. Oh man, so many, so many, so many freaking uh, fam- uh famous people are in that. Um, obviously, Holt is he's he's been in a bunch of stuff. Harry Cruz. Oh my god, what's her? The girl who plays Gina. Um, she's uh she's married to um uh Peel, I think Jordan Peel. Hey, um, I heard you say Gina. Yeah. You want to talk about Mandalorian? And did we find a replacement? Or yeah, well, want- so yeah, we can get it. It's, it's a it's very political. Um, okay. But, yeah, but so yeah, so Gina, but Gina Carano got fired for thing, <laughs> thing some 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 dumb. 
some of them again. It's, it, the thing is, it's not the first time. Right. You know, it's not the first time. She said it multiple. She said different things multiple times. You know, so I think this was fin- the final straw. And so Disney fired her. Um, but from what I heard is Disney said they are not going to recast her. So you will probably not get Cara Dune in the next season. Fans were going really, really hard for uh, Lucy Lawless. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Fans are going really, really hard away. for uh, Lucy Lawless. They wanted Lucy Lawless just to replace her, which I'm like, oh, that'd be awesome. You know, you know I'm like, she's, you know, not a small petite woman either. <laughs> you know, just like, yeah, here, there, boom, your Cara Dune, done. <laughs> here's, here's some dark hair. I'm like, I would have been, I would have been super fine with that. But I guess supposedly they said, uh, they, they said they're not going to recast. But I mean, right, right now, probably not. Yeah, I mean, they still got time. They're not supposed to start filming until like May, I believe. May. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, they got time before that even all goes down. People, people are going really, really hard. A lot of uh, right leaning people are going super hard for her. They're like, first of all, people are saying, "Oh, she's the greatest thing on that show." Okay, fuck off. She was in like five episodes in the entire two seasons so far. Yeah. I'm like, I enjoyed her character. I thought Cara Dune was a really well done character. Uh-huh. It just sucks that it was portrayed by somebody with you know her kind of views, but it is what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Um, yeah, I like. I watched it again. The whole thing in two days. Um, I. You know, I don't know what it is about that show. She does make a great character. You know, she plays the, yeah, the role very right. well. You yeah. know, but overall, I think um, I really enjoy that show. And how are they going to do it? I don't know. Maybe they'll say, oh, she's on planet, blah, 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 taking care Possibly. of business there, you know, and just leave it, leave her there. Don't bring yeah. her back. Or maybe have little snippets of her voice as a, like a broken transmission, and it turns out something is done. I would, even, I would just be like, "Done, you're done." <laughs> so. I don't know. Because now she's a space marshal, so she can just be like, "She's over there now." I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I have to go. My planet needs me. That's exactly what people are saying. You know, <laughs> just she like goes up. Yeah, but yeah, and she. <sighs> She, it's, she that's had... <laughs> she it's go very back. very. Yeah. Go back and I thought break. it was just very stupid on her her part. I was like, yeah. "You're not even oh. saying anything important." Like, you know, I don't know. That's that's what I didn't get. Is like, like what view are you getting canceled for? <laughs> like, like oh, you're transphobic. Oh, oh, wait, no, you're not. Yes, you are. I don't know what you. What are you trying to argue here, lady? Just. I don't know. Maybe she yeah. watched uh, <laughs> uh, let's say the boys. They wants her rating yeah. to go up. She wants her points to go up. Yeah. So she probably had that going on. Yeah. But... Which, are they coming back? Yeah. yeah. They um the boys. They did everything for season three. Um. They who, who's it? The guy who's uh who is in um oh my god uh, Supernatural. Dean Mm -hmm. from Supernatural, he's going to be in the show. I guess he's playing like a a fucked up version of Captain America, like from the comic book. So he's going to play play that. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I thought Um, Homelander, but there's a well, he's kind of like the messed up version of Superman. You know, like so now you're getting this guy. But there's another show. I can forget what's called. It's animated though. It's and it's going to be on Amazon, just like the boys. And it's from a comic book, just like the boys, a million times way worse than the boys. You, like the boys go through some really messed up shit. This comic book is double worse. <laughs> like, I love it, oh my God. And I watched the trailer. They released a, a little trailer from it. I'm like, oh, they're not showing people yet what it is. 
<laughs> like, because it's like, oh, this this new this kid, you know, he's playing catch with his superhero dad. You're like, oh, okay, and then it kind of just like shows like, oh, now he's got a costume and and you know, I forgot what his uh, invincible. That's what it's called, invincible. So I was like, oh boy, wait till that's they really idea. show what what happens. Because holy shit, you want to read a fucked up it. comic? Weapon? Anything goes in it. Anything goes in anime. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You're not. You don't have to worry about like uh, like one. You don't have to worry about all the special effects like you do in uh, the boys. <laughs> but what oh, else? Um, Sonic Two. They're making a Sonic Two. Yeah, I heard Momoa. Uh, it's gonna be Tails. Like, uh, Knuckles. Knuckles. I think mean, Knuckles. But in the logo, the number two has two little tails coming from it. So I'm assuming tails is going to be in the movie, you know, because they're teasing him in the freaking, you know, name. Yeah. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, and then one last thing before we call it a night is t- today, as of today, um, the freaking uh, Marvel, the MCU gets Punisher and Jessica Jones back from Netflix. So that completes all of Netflix is all all those Netflix shows are back with Marvel. So now they can do Luke Cage, um, supposedly um, Daredevil is supposed to be in the new Spider-Man one. Um, Punisher, Jessica Jones, they own all of the rights again. So I, I wonder if we're going to see all those shows on Disney Plus in the next couple months or so. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Are, are they gonna remake it, or are they gonna just take all Netflix logos, change it to Disney, grab the shows, and throw it? Yeah, I mean Disney made all those shows. I mean not Disney. Yeah, Disney made all those shows like Marvel, oh, no. MCU. Okay, they did those, and I then they just put it out on Netflix. Hmm. No, they they it was Netflix. Netflix just re- like brought it out, but it was all the production company was all Marvel. That's awesome. But now I, Marvel, I, they're I, I, I do want to see, I do want to see everything. What you text me? That's Daredevil season one, mm. Jones season one, and whatever. Um, Daredevil was good. I really enjoyed Daredevil a lot, and it's yeah, the cinema cinematography, the the uh, uh-huh. yeah. it's amazing in that in that show. It is amazing in that show. Yeah, it's little so, things like that that they don't cut away. And it's all one five minute fight scene. You know, they it's happened multiple times. I think season one, yeah, and season two, season two so, they did something similar. Yeah, and I'm like, that's amazing, man. Yeah, that's awesome. It's it's really good. The one one thing I uh, me and Martin were kind of talking about, but we we weren't spoiling it for you. Is so if you if if anybody's listening, you want to watch Daredevil, it's gonna be a kind of a big spoiler. Um, is how messed up and how great the guy who plays Kingpin is. That's got to be the best Kingpin. And, you know, and it's really hard to beat. Uh, what's his name? Um, the guy from Green Mile. I can't think of his name. Who played Kingpin in the old Daredevil mm-hmm. movie? He was really good. But the guy who played uh, Vincent, whatever his name is, um, uh, he- no, uh, Wilson Fisk. Was, no, the, the actor who played Whiskey, Wilson Fist is like Vincent uh, something. That's the actor's oh. name. He was um, the he was, the, yeah, he was in one of the Law and Order shows. He was in Men in Black. He was the big bug in the human yeah. body. Um, <laughs> um, Vincent and the Orforio, the Orforio. Yeah, something like that. E come out capital O N O Frio one of Frio. Yeah, he said he he wants to come back. He's like he he's like I want to be kingpin again. I was like, yeah, I bet you do because that's a like a, a guaranteed check with the MCU. But uh, he's so good. But the first season, when when I was kind of like I'm like holy shit, is when he literally beats this guy's head with a car door. Holy shit! He he's in there. Boom, boom. I was like, he yeah. He bashes his head off. It was like, I'm like, oh my god, this is a Marvel thing, because <laughs> that is really violent. And yeah, and his best friend is in the 
just in the car in the passenger seat that's happening on that side and he's like getting blood on him he's like all right i'm done <laughs> and he yeah. just it's a vehicle yeah that's yeah crazy. i mean that that part i was like i'm like damn this is violent and, and usually you don't think about it because they had violent but then you're like oh this is this is marvel yeah. like holy sh- this is disney <laughs> you know like so they can get dark if they wanted to because but man he's he's really good he he's really really good he only shows up in in daredevil i believe oh no he shows up in punisher a little bit right. but nothing major nothing major but yeah he, he he just he looked good you know he was big stocky like a beefy fucking like i said awesome. man like I said, he'd be great for a lineman, a defensive lineman. <laughs> you know, I I said that. I'm like, I see his. What the actor right? or like just Kingpin, Wilson Fisk, draft. Oh, the actual Kingpin. Second round, oh. Second round draft. <laughs> That's well, you see him in uh, how weird he they made him look in uh, um, the Spider Verse, yes. uh, the animated one. Really? He's like this big old body with the little Dana White Dana White head. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah yeah, that was was a little weird but yeah he was always a a weird character but this one they really made him good i I enjoyed it a lot yeah hopefully that guy's nuts now i'm looking on here michael clark duncan he was also he was also in daredevil he was was kingpin he he was kingpin he was kingpin in the in the movie with um, um ben affleck yeah Ah, see, but he, probably he, was the best part. Yeah. yeah. Was he? Was it the best part? Yeah, him. Yeah, by far. He, I mean, he's just a big dude naturally, you know? And then they told him, like, all right, get bigger. You know, muscles, fat, it doesn't matter. Just get bigger. So, you know, he he, he wasn't fat in the movie, but he was, he was, he's a massive dude. And they're just like, go for bigger, you know? And you you know, so yeah, wow. and he's he's a he's a really good actor, man. I, it sucks that he that he's gone, but yeah, he was six five. Damn, how can he get bigger in six five? I, I mean, I can't find his weight, but yeah, he died in twenty twelve. That's sad. Yeah, you know, I mean, what I'm trying to find. It, it doesn't even say. I think he had complications or something. But anyway, yeah, rest in yeah. peace, Clark Duncan. But He's it's a, a picture. I don't know how <laughs> that is from there, but Holy yeah, shit. he was a big dude. Big old dude. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he was he was he was probably the best part of the movie because Ben Affleck as Daredevil was not good, hmm. and then what's her name as uh, Electro was maybe she was a little bit better, but she was also not good. Wow, no, I mean I don't know with this Daredevil actor. I think we talked about it. I really like him. I really enjoyed yeah. him. I never heard of him before. Um, Charlie Cox, I believe his name is, <clears throat> but he's. A really good actor. Suppose, and like, that, like I said, there's so many times I'm he's fighting and he's just like making these little head nods. I'm like, shit, I forgot he's blind. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. I know him and uh, the guy who plays Loki, um, mm. Tom Hiddleston. I think his name is Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're like really good friends. I didn't know that. <laughs> I guess they like they did like Broadway plays together and shit like that. So oh, really? there's a there's an interview like at a comic con type of thing where they're both on uh, on the couch, they're talking about it, you know, and they're talking about like how they would love to be in a movie together as Loki and Daredevil, you know. But then like you know like well you're like Loki died for like the third time, you know, Daredevil got canceled, so you're like ah oh, fuck, you know. Now it's a possibility, yeah. <laughs> you know. Loki, it's a super, yeah. Loki, his so... show is coming out. Yeah, that's right. I can't wait for his show. I can't wait for his show. 
Dude, this year with Marvel is just going to be epic because WandaVision, we didn't even talk about that, but tomorrow, the next episode of WandaVision, the next three, the last three episodes are going to be an hour long, which All is right. going to be awesome. Yeah. Well, good, man. Um, about time because I'm tired of these fucking cliff anchors. These oh, 20, 30, 20, 30 minutes, and then, like, we got to wait for fucking six days, seven days. Oh, uh, it's I so annoying. Eight days because for some weird ass reason on Fridays, WandaVision and Disney Plus does not work well. I, that sucks. I, everyone wants to stream and wants to see it when it first comes out. Nope. We have to wait till Saturday, Sunday. Really? Yes. Yeah. That's the only time we get access to it. Like, we go into it, choose WandaVision. Oh, there was an error. Okay, let's watch something else. Oh, there was an error. Like, come on. Is your TV plugged into the internet or Wi Fi? No, it's plugged in. It's hardlined. Plugged in? Oh, damn. Really? Yeah, because we use me and Erica usually watch it like around five five thirty, which is like the peak. <laughs> you know, it's like the busiest time because everyone just got home from work, kind of shit. You know, and we never yeah. really have any any issues. No, it, yeah, I blast the surround sound; it's awesome. We want to see it, you know, like nine ten o'clock, whatever. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Really? Oh, that really sucks, dude. Yeah, all the way. Um, we there was times we were up like one in the morning. You know, we <laughs> watch movie stuff because you know it's it's Friday. No, dude. It was couldn't see shit until ah. Saturday afternoon ish or Sunday when we have time because we we're just busy as hell. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So one thing, Wandavision. All right. So I thought Wandavision was Wanda's vision, what she sees uh. captive. Just thought. Wanda Vision was Wanda and Vision. And Vision. Yeah. Right. So when I tried, when I was explaining to her, I'm like, oh, I get it. Wanda Vision. It's Wanda's vision. Like what she sees, what she portrays, what everything's going on in her head. That's what they call it, Wanda Vision. And she looked at me, she's like, that's funny because I thought Wanda Vision was Wanda and Vision. And now, like, we both understood each other at the same time. Yeah. So my question is to you, which is it? Is it either the, either or? Is it one of those, or is it something else? And I mean, now, well, why well, don't I get into spoilers? Because if people haven't watched like last se- last episode, because um, technically it is Vision, but it's not Vision because it's no spoiler. Because you watched Endgame or Infinity War, he died in Infinity War. What? <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> Flip the table. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I didn't watch a two-year-old movie. Yeah, I know. I was waiting. Yeah, so three. I mean, technically, it 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 is vision, but it's not. You know, so it's 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 kind of weird. Like I'm I'm re- that's why I'm kind of like really to see what happens with it because I guess you you could you could you could go either way because Wanda Vision because it's mainly about them too. Mm. You know. But it's also it could be like if you a play on words where it's Wanda's vision, you know, right? You know of like the world of her reality because that's her power right. is she can shape reality, right? So I'm like, so, <sighs> so, yeah, I never thought about it like that though. But that's that's an interesting way to so think never, about it. So you never thought of like Wanda's vision? No, no. I was it's like Wanda vision because it's Wanda just Wanda and, and yeah. okay, yeah, that's what Jess was. Because after all that stuff that happened, actually it was like two episodes, not this previous one. It was like two episodes ago. That's why I like it dawned on me. I'm like, wait, mm-hmm. it was a Brady Bunch. It was Family Ties. It was like I Love Lucy. I'm like, oh shit, that, that was. I, I get it. Yeah, now. that was pretty awesome. I'm like, I get it. You know, it's her vision playing the sitcoms when she was a kid, and you know, and I guess I'm thinking too much into it. Maybe, maybe not. I no, know. I mean, dude, there's so much like Marvel doesn't do anything by coincidence. You know right. what I mean? That's why so many people are thinking Fantastic Four is going to be somehow um, announced in WandaVision, mm-hmm. you know, because there's so many like little things that they could do. But what we'll, I mean, we'll have to see. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's, that's something Marvel just doesn't do things by coincidence. So it, if they did that, then there's a really good chance like 
it, it is a play on words. It's like, oh, it's Wanda's vision of the of her perfect world, you know, mm-hmm. where, you know. So I mean, I never thought about that, but that's a that's a really good. Uh, I, and you know what? I don't think I heard anybody even talk about that. You know, because I watch a lot of like new rock stars, Nerdist, and stuff like that. They never really talk about that. It was like, yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it kind of ma- it does make you think. Like, it does it change the the whole idea of of WandaVision show? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, and I was sober when this happened. <laughs> so, I wasn't not, not you know all whatever, but yeah, yeah, I wasn't drinking or nothing. I'm like, oh wait a minute, yeah. so that's great. That's, that's great. why so many people were like hating the first couple episodes. They're like, oh, it's really weird. It's really stupid. I was like, yeah, but it's it's but it's also I'm like, here's a character who's a mutant that they can't say is a mutant, but she has these really crazy powers. Here's a robot that's like part iron man part hulk part ultron and part jarvis and part infinity stone you know so he's a really weird unique character in in the movie and then they wind up loving each other you know possibly because of the infinity stone you know made him gave her her powers so they're just weird characters you know and i'm like cool i don't i don't mind weird you know so i i knew the beginning was going to be really weird but man, everyone, everyone was like, "This is stupid! This is stupid! Stupid!" And then episode three, four ish is when everyone hooked. Yeah, that was me. Everyone was hooked. So Kat you said, Dennings came back and it changed. So you said he gave her powers. Yeah. Vision gave her powers. Wasn't the, the Mind power, Stone? The Mind Stone gave her Wanda mm-hmm. powers. Yeah. And what power in age her? in Age of Ultron? She well, technically, because she had all the. Yeah. She hasn't really. She <laughs> they, intro- they introduced her, um, as with powers already. But there's a post credit scene. I I don't I don't know which movie it is because it all kind of blurs. But there's a post credit scene, I believe. <coughs> um, I believe after Thor. I don't remember, but in the in the in this post credit scene, you see her her and her brother in jail cells, right? And was- and he's like zipping around, and she's like you know floating uh Locks. blocks, and they yeah. like explode. So they're in the cell, but as the guy Striker, who's like a big character that they didn't really pay off, like he's a big deal in the comic book. So as he was walking, they had the the saber or the staff there. And later you find out the staff has the mind stone in it. So they were manipulating the power of the staff to fuck with people. And they gave the powers to to them too. Like they awoken powers. Um... So that's why they're they're Now they can, they couldn't link X-Men or any mutants. So they had to avoid all that. (coughs) So that was one thing that how like they were able to introduce people with powers was, was, the Infinity Stones gave them powers. But now they can change the story a little bit and play around with shit. It's like, well, were their powers always there? And then the trauma of an Infinity Stone fucking with them awoken the powers? So, like the X gene? Yeah. yeah. It's just, uh, it's so, it gets so inner, inner yeah, that's, linked. It, it, that's yeah, a you forget. A rabbit hole. Yeah. Because we could we could go on forever with this, and it would never there's no ending in sight. <laughs> so uh, we got to be careful, don't slip and fall. Because once we get the falling grammar, <coughs> you and I both know we're not gonna come back. <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna go on continue forever with this, and yeah. Well, for sure, for sure, when WandaVision's over, so in two more weeks, because this week is one, and then. The last two are the next two weeks. For sure, when that's over, we're going to have a podcast probably totally dedicated to the entire series uh, and whatever is going to happen because, you know, it, it, this, Marvel always sets up the next thing. So, yeah, they're good. At that. All right. So, 
Yeah, I know you got to go. Yeah, I know you said five minutes, maybe 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I got I just got to be at work at five tomorrow. Oh, geez. All right. But yeah, let's uh, end it here. Um, thank you guys for watching episode 55 of the Did We Just Become Best Friends podcast. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. You can check us out on all social media platforms. Look up our name or W or D W J B B F, which is uh, abbreviations. Um, follow us on Twitch, YouTube, all that good stuff. Facebook, we go live every Thursday. You can give us a call, 312-834-7048. And uh, if you leave a good enough message, you might hear yourself on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. and see you guys next week. Have a good one, guys. See you later.